How you doing today? Dirty old Elsevier, eh? Well, today, boys and girls, we're gonna talk a little RC we are, eh? We're gonna do a little RC episode. Friggin' right we are. First of all, I wanna just say, hey, I've been taking some downtime I have for myself. Friggin' right I have. And it's been decent, eh? Just doing what I feel like doing, boys. Sometimes you gotta do it. But uh, we'll start off today, don't forget to subscribe and like, and hit that notification bell bar button. Friggin' right, you better. But we're gonna start out today with old, uh, good old RC Ohio, eh? RC Ohio, he sent me, it looks like a 3D printed GoPro mount for the X-Max, boys. Friggin' right he did. Check out that thing, eh? That's decent, bud. Appreciate it. We'll try that out and see how that works on the old X Max for the GoPro. I think it's gonna be friggin' decent, boys. I really do. Why wouldn't I? So thanks a lot for sending me that, bud. Appreciate it big time. Good old RC Ohio, eh? Thanks, bud. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, but I appreciate it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna unplug you and hopefully you keep recording, you little bugger. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about over here is the TRX4, boys. I uh I picked up the old Hobby Wing XE Run, eh? Why wouldn't I? So I got it installed. I did it off camera, of course, because you know everybody sees installs. Motor I got censored, brushless, boys, and uh, the ESC is a 60 amp AXA brushless system. It's really decent, boys. Actually, I gotta get my phone, I do. Hold on a sec. So anyways, I purchased the 2300K motor one. Now, boys and girls of the RC Worldage, if you're buying this to make it faster, it's not gonna happen. Unless you gear the hell out of it, which I don't wanna do because it's a crawler. So if you're buying one of these to make your crawler fast, then you need to buy a different RC you do because it's a rock crawler. It's supposed to be slow. Slow, gentle, easy, careful, boys. So the thing I like about this thing is it's pretty friggin' decent. It all runs off Bluetooth, it does. So if you're- Give me one sec, I'll sign in here, boys, and I'll show you. So basically, if you get the Hobbywing app, okay, you turn the ESC on, you go up here and you hit connect to it, you can actually go into the all the settings right on your phone, boys, and program- Program Rob. Hey? Which is friggin' decent. So see, it shows you what you got and what all the options are, and you can change it in here and whatnot, and hit save, and it loads it up. You shut it off, you turn it back on, and she's programmed. Friggin' right, Hobby Wing. That's friggin' decent. But here, boys, I'll show you how slow this thing actually goes. If I can find my friggin' remote. Here it is. Anyways, boys, so we got her on, we put her on low speed here. We gotta shut her off because the remote wasn't on for frig sakes. Let's start over. There we go. But look at it, boys. Look how slow this thing crawls now. Look at that. That is friggin' decent. So if you want to crawl real slow, it's got her, boys. And if you want high speed, you want little balls? She's got balls, too, she does. That's low. That's high. Like, holy, it's got power, boys. Let me tell you, eh? Hey? But the crawl on it is unbelievable. Or a brush motor. Or a brushless motor. It just, look at it, boys. Highly recommended, big time, eh? Hey? Highly recommended if you're into the RC crawling world. That's the way to go because she's just nice and gentle and careful and easy. Look at it. That is just decent. Anyways, I wanted to show you that. So, right on Hobby Wing, you did a good job of that and friggin' right. So, one thing that's ticking me off, I haven't mentioned, is Traxxas. I heard Traxxas has been sending people friggin' letters saying, you can't use Traxxas in your titles. Well, I think they need to calm the hell down, they do. But it's up to them, so I'll just stop mentioning them, I will. But I just wanted to tell you that. Watch out what you put on your title, boys. Stay away from the Traxxas name. And, uh... Getting into my next RC here. It's not a Traxxas. Not a Traxxas. I got a good deal on something, ain't Dennis? Freaking right I did. Yeah, I, uh, I come across a uh, Axle. What are they? F S SXC10? Crawler? It was in a box in pieces, so I got a really good deal on it. But I got her back together, and she's working mint, boys. Hey, she's working mint, boys. So I'll pull this over here. There she is, hey? Look at that. Freaking right I did. SCX10. Sorry, boys. I'm not real familiar with the axle, but uh, I got this for the daughter I did so she can go crawling with me. Because like I said, it was a really good deal. 
And I'm telling you right now, boys, this thing's got a lot of upgrade parts, does freaking right it does. I've got the electric winch on her. It's got all the aluminum front end, aluminum rear end, aluminum bottom arms, hey? Freaking right, boys. I don't think it's a, the stock doodad, but hey, it is what it is. It works. It did work. I blew up a motor yesterday, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Friggin' right well. But anyways, that's a pretty decent little crawler, boys. Hey, I like it. It works good. So thanks a lot, Dennis, for that. Oh, it's got all the aluminum shaft or all the steel shafts too. This one here's got a little bit of play in it, but hey, it is what it is. It is. It's old. Hey, it's old. Not new, boys. But it's got the aftermarket rims, which weigh a ton, and uh, I think we're gonna have some fun with that. Hey, we we're out yesterday. I got a battery with a kit. I did. Here it is, right here. You get the old battery, boys. And it's marked 7.4 volts, two cell. Well, I thought, geez, that's a big two cell, eh? Friggin' right it is, but I'll give her a shot. So, I didn't think to use my little beep, beep, beep thing to test it. Why would I? And I threw it in the truck, we went down to the beach, we were crawling around, the motor went up and smoke it did. So this battery is actually 11.1 volt battery, which is improperly marked, and it's a three cell, boys. So guess what? Motor don't like three cell, so I got the daughter's old Rustler motor in it right now, so it's too fast for crawling, but I'm gonna order myself up. Actually, Dennis, Dennis has one. I'll put Dennis's link below. He's got another set for me, he does. He's got another kit. So I'm gonna get another kit like this for this truck. Fucking right. So, Hobby Wing, I'm just spending all sorts of money with you guys, I am. So hey, think about me, eh? Remember, the X-Max is running Hobby Wing now. My boat's on Hobby Wing. I need the uh, the old Traxxas UDR on Hobby Wing, eh? Just an idea for you there, boys, if you want to send me one. But uh, that's what I think of that, and that's a decent little crawler it is. I like it. I actually like it. Screw you, Traxxas, eh? Why wouldn't I? Freaking right, I would. Anyways, on to the next, boys. On to the friggin' next. And remember, don't forget to subscribe and like for Christ's sakes. Why wouldn't you? And sorry I haven't been putting out much videos lately. I already told you why if you watch the beginning. Friggin' right, Will. So, moving on, boys. Moving. Friggin' on, boys. I did a video on this little doodad. I put a little $29 brushless combo in here, I did. Hey? Eh? And I just want to let you know, there it is there. $29 combo. I'll put that in the link below. It works perfect, boys. It doesn't have huge acceleration because I didn't do a gear change, stock gears, but uh, it eases into her and it goes pretty good for the daughter it does. So that's as fast as, oh. Don't leave your batteries plugged in, boys. Make sure you unplug your batteries. Thank God I got this out, eh? Why wouldn't I? This is a decent little kit for your kid it is. If you want it a little bit faster than stock, $29, boys, hey? Eh? Should have hobby wing in it, really it should, but uh, we gotta get the other ones working right first. This one's good enough. So that's decent. So if there's anything on here you want me to show you, make sure you leave your comments below and I'll go through it with you and show you what I think of it. Just so you know, cameras are working good too. Friggin' right they are. They're decent. It's crappy as hell out today. It's raining. Just look at it, boys. Look at those cameras. They're friggin' decent. The colors are off a little bit, but I don't know. I gotta do a color adjustment, but it, they're working good. I can see what's going on. Look at the rain. It's just raining out like crazy it is. What a crappy friggin' day. But I got a little bit of a mess to clean up here. I got all the RCs kicking around in here. I do. They all need to be cleaned, but that's a winter job. Okay, just chilling in the old basement, doing some tweakage, boys. But I covered quite a bit here real quick, I did. So I don't know what else to tell you right now, I don't. Like I said, sorry about me being down a little bit, eh? Just chilling out, I was. Friggin' right, I was. And thanks again, RC Ohio, for sending me that friggin' GoPro. Let's get the X Max and see how it fits. Let's move this beast. Freaking right, let's put her over here on the jack stands, eh? Look at that little jack stands with this thing. Oh, boys, you should see all the little do doodads and whatnots I got with this. Hey, eh? I got a really good deal on this, I did. Freaking right, I did. Well, let's get this thing on the old jack stand of Rooskies. Oh, boys. Boys. There we go. Decent. Hey, eh? decent. The old X Max needs a wash job. It does. It's freaking dirty as dicks. Holy boys, it's not going to fit on the shelf here, for God's sakes. Here, let me see if I can sit you up here. You see me? Decent. Look at the difference in size from the x of the crawler. Holy, what's really going on? So we'll pull out this little doodad, and I think, boys, it goes in here or something. Oh, yeah. That's friggin' awesome. There you go. What a neat little kit, but I think I got her upside down. Friggin' right I do. Goes this, no, goes this way, boys. Comment below there, RC Ohio, and let me know I get that on right. I'm pretty sure it goes this way, and uh, you screw the GoPro on, and Bob's your uncle. Might have to put a zip tie around these, eh? What do you think? A little zip tie around them just to make sure it doesn't pop off. Thanks a lot for that GoPro mount. That is freaking decent. 
Friggin' right it is, it fits nice too. Holy, spent some time on the old 3D printer you did. Hmm? Friggin' right you did. Better plug you back in, boys, you're dying. You're friggin' dying, you are. Friggin' right you are. There we go. But anyways, I was gonna do a little livey livey, but I'm not gonna do a livey livey today. I'm gonna chill out today, clean up. I gotta clean up this mess, it's a mess in here. I like to do some RC polishing, eh? You boys know what I'm talking about that are into the RCs. Friggin' right you do. Let me know what you think about the axle if you have one. Um, I haven't had it long enough to really give you, a, you know, a good doodad and whatnot, but they're pretty comparable to the old TRX4 they are. Friggin' right they are. I do like the way it's set up. Especially with all the aluminum on, it looks pretty freaking decent. Very right, it does. But anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now.